Many UP residents aren't strangers to the large amount of snow that the UP receives, but what about your local news reporters who aren't from around town? I'm Jordan Golkis and I'm from South Florida. Hi, I'm John Michael Lofling. I'm from San Jose, California. I'm Rachel Zerby and I'm from Southeastern Pennsylvania. And I'm Kaylee Kirby from Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City represent. So what were your first impressions when you moved to Michigan? Well, you know, first impression, I drove through Wisconsin to get here on my way from California. And we first things first, we saw like a bunch of people slipping and sliding. So we were like, we got to get snow tires. Five miles outside the Marquette, I slip and I tear the back part of my bumper off. So that was not the best first impression. But other than that, beautiful country, nice people. I haven't gone to a single place where I haven't liked the food. It's nice. It's nice. It's a little cold. Colder than what I'm used to. It was a 100 degree difference from where I was born and raised at one point. But... Not too bad. I keep the temperature at 65 in my house, so not too bad. I came up here during the beautiful summertime, so my first impression was honestly great. The weather was beautiful. It didn't get dark until 9 p.m., and the weather, like I said, was beautiful. And Rachel, you're from Pennsylvania, so you're not immune to the cold, but how is it different from here in the good old UP? Being from PA, I have seen snow before, but the number one difference is the amount of snow I have seen. Um, up here, it's I've just never seen anything like this. Every time it snows, it's a blizzard. You know, back in the day, I would complain when my dad would be like, oh, can you go outside and shovel the driveway or sidewalk? There'd be like three inches of snow and I would throw a fit. Now I would love to have those days back because, you know, today I spent about 45 minutes trying to dig my car out of a foot and a half deep snow. So, yeah, it snows a lot up here. Now, Jordan, you went to school in Ohio. Did it prepare you for the UP winters that we are currently going through? So I went to college in Ohio. It, Ohio does border Michigan, but it's a completely different world up here. When you do get snow, it's a lot of it. I've, I compare it to living in a snow globe, where in Ohio, the most we ever got was four inches. And I never really had to shovel my car out until I moved here. And I decided I do not like that. Now, driving in a warmer state will be very different to what we have here in the UP. So, Michael, what have you seen while driving around so far? So... When I drive in California, I'm barely paying attention to the road. I very seldom have my hands at 10 and 2. I very seldom have two hands on the wheel in general. I just roll around with one hand at the bottom. Sometimes I drive with my knee. But here, I can't do that. I have to take both hands. I have to constantly be paying attention. I can't even sing along to the songs on my radio. I know every word, but I don't sing along at all because I have to focus on the road the whole time. Now with these frigid temperatures, I'm guessing your wardrobe has changed quite a bit for you, Kaylee. Tell us a little bit about that. Being from Las Vegas, um, it's warm there all the time and I'm a flip-flop sandals type of person and so having to move here and wear closed-toed shoes, boots, and this big coat, which by the way, I've never owned a coat this big in my life. Usually I just own sweaters. Um, so my wardrobe has changed drastically. I'm not really a fan of it, but I like this big coat because it keeps me warm <laughs> and I need that up here. But even though the UP might have harsh winters, there are still a lot of good things about the Upper Peninsula. Coming to the Midwest, I have never met nicer people in my entire life, especially my coworkers. Every morning they wake up to a text message from me, for me asking them to help me dig out my car and without them, I would probably be still stuck in my apartment. I would consider myself a, a little bit of a nature gal now. Back in the day, I wouldn't really think that I would enjoy hiking, but the views are worth it. I mean, Sugarloaf, beautiful. Hogsback, beautiful. Worth all the bug bites you get on the way up, but gorgeous. I mean, in the fall, I probably crashed my car multiple times just gazing at all the colors. I've never seen anything so bright like that before. So the fall is beautiful. I mean, the winter, as much as it does stink, the snow is gorgeous. I mean, after those ice storms, the trees are beautiful. The summer is beautiful. It's just a really beautiful place. I'm Dan Callahan reporting from Marquette County for ABC 10 and the CW5.